Ryan Steinekert with Cindy Stewart of the Rich Rebel Volleyball Team. Coach, you know, first weekend out of the way. You've told me in past years that that first weekend there's always some drama. Did you have some this year? Oh, yeah, we had drama. <laughs> we had some emotional breakdowns, and, you know, we didn't, we, won, we won the one game against Bear Lake. And uh, we knew it was going to be a hard trip, you know, and a hard, hard journey all year. So I was glad to get the one win over Bear Lake. But the girls had a hard time. I don't even know who's going to play where. You know, they're so even. They're like a good set of steers. <laughs> and so they're so even, I, I'm trying to find someone that can step up and, and handle that outside hitter's position and who serves and who passes. And so Sage Tingy did really well. She passed the highest percentage, and uh, she can do better. Mackenzie served real well, uh, Mackenzie Smith. And we had moments. Uh, Ali uh, Wallentine digs the best on the back row. She's doing a good job. And then uh, about the second or third game, McKenna started passing. She passed well last year, but she hasn't done it in practice or here, so she picked up her passing. So there's some good bright spots, but it was a hard, it's going to be a hard journey the whole year. We have a tough schedule. Are there things that you saw you need to work on, like fundamentals, when you're on defense, getting to the right spot or keeping hands ready, things like that? Oh, yeah. For sure, our block. We don't spend a lot of time. In high school, block's the last skill to score a point. And so we got to find some. We'll bring some alumni in and see if they can't run some quicks on us. We finally got one quick block. So we celebrated. And uh, our kids are staying in the right spots, but then they're not moving and reading. So we have to do a lot of more work on reading. But it is a serve and receive game. And if we can't serve and pass, the other stuff does not matter. That's uh, that's the first thing. If you can't hit a shot or can't dribble the ball, it's yeah. like in basketball, right? Yeah. If we can't pass the ball, nothing happens. If we can't serve it over, you know, there's no use in playing defense. <laughs> so we really have to be focused on serving and passing again and see if we can't find some solid passers. And then we'll, we need to work on our, our defense and our block. So a lot to work on. The one team you beat Bear Lake, that's who you play next, but it's not till next week. So you have almost two weeks of practice to work out and, and get better on those things. Yeah, but we're kind of taking a down week. Thursday we're going to go do yoga paddleboard and try to have some team bonding. And these kids are need to start trusting each other instead of competing against each other. And they're not happy for each other's successes right now and because they're all trying. So we're going to have some that kind of stuff. And we really only get two days of practice this week. But uh, we'll be ready for Bear Lake. It'll be a, bar a barn burner because we beat them and it's their, their place. They're going to be looking to get back at you. Oh, yeah, it'll be. They'll, I hope they're not too more, much more motivated than we are. So and we always have a good crowd, so that's fun. Is this a, just a totally different experience for you in all your years of coaching? Have you had a, a team like this where you're dealing with the similar um, challenges? Yes, I did. I had a team, uh, oh, maybe, let's see, Sammy's been about 14 years ago, just like this. There, was, there were eight, nine seniors, though, and like last year, six seniors, and they were all just even, just good set of steers, and no standout. So they had to really work hard. We had to play a different. But those kids were really, they bought into defense, you know, and they, they knew we could win with our serve. I don't know what's wrong with our serve. We've got good servers, but uh, they've just got to learn how to serve under pressure. So, yeah, we've had this team before, but it's, it's been a long time since we haven't had one standout player, and these are pretty even girls. And I don't know if they know how to work hard enough to get those spots. So that's that's what bothers me. I think they got to really have to work hard to, to get those positions. Every position's a, a battle right now. That youth like that and, and the lack of varsity experience, the, trying to step up to that varsity speed, there's there's some growing to do, but you're going to get there. Oh, yeah. With our tough schedule and our uh, work ethic, you know, we're gonna, I'm going to give them the best opportunity to be the best they can be if they want to come and get better. And then so we're really just working to see what we can do at state tournament, you know, uh, and hope we learn a lot and get better along the way. Coach, anything else we should touch on? Nope. <laughs> it was just a hard weekend to win. We started out one and three, so we'll have to just. And I don't know if we're going to get 500 this year. You know, that's a reality, and the girls should know that too. But we got to just keep battling, you know, and so that we'll uh, be strong at the end. You can win your region, not be in 500, and still have a good state tournament and a positive year. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can. Because our schedule's so tough, but we'll get so much better. My goodness, we've improved so much. It's, 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 it's really, uh, really made me very happy how much I've improved. Coach Cindy Stewart, thanks for your time. Good luck with uh, the lighter week this week. We'll talk to you again next week. Yeah, thanks.